doing a PhD, by its definition, you become a specialist in a very narrow field. It's the highest degree you can achieve and uh, it's basically making a novel contribution in your field. A PhD starts with, first of all, coming up with a problem, like an interesting thing you want to solve. So after you find that interesting problem, then you have to study what did other researchers do. And once you do that, you basically like introduce a new approach or a new methodology to solve that problem. PhD supposedly consists of three years. Most people take three to four. It's research-based um, and it's on one specific project. Uh, so you'll have one or two supervisors to help you and direct you, but ultimately it's your project and you take it where you want it to go. So the PhD consists of literally uh, a massive booklet called a thesis and within that you have to do a lit review and you have to write about the experiments you've done and then collate the results and essentially at the end you have to defend your capabilities of doing a PhD and the work that you've done in an oral examination. I think the thing you need to consider before you come for a PhD is why. I think it's very, very important if you're choosing a PhD to make sure that you choose an area in which you have genuine interest in. It shouldn't be just a career step really because if you just do it for that you're probably not going to put enough into it or get the most out of it really. It's got to be that you're interested in a particular topic. Choose something which you're good at and come and do a PhD so that you can become great in this discipline. It's important to remember the, the bigger picture that it is uh, thanks to your efforts and the efforts of many other people like you working in many different fields that the uh, circle of human knowledge can expand. Thank you.